Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create gear graphics in PowerPoint 2016. Here's some basic gear graphics that I created and then I animated them like so. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create these gear graphics and in a separate tutorial I'll show you how to animate the gears in PowerPoint. So I've got PowerPoint 2016 open here in a blank slide. Let's start by adding rectangular shapes. So I'll go to the Insert tab. And under Shapes, I'll choose the rectangle with rounded corners, this one right here. And I'll draw it on the slide like so. Next, I'll go to the Format tab. And under Shape Outline, I'll choose No Outline. Next, I'll use Ctrl D on my keyboard five times to duplicate the shape. So essentially, I've got six of these rectangular shapes. Now let's separate these shapes. I'll highlight them all, like so. And then under the Format tab, and under Align, I'll choose Align to Slide. And then I'll go back to a line and I'll choose Distribute Horizontally. Now let's rotate each of the duplicated five shapes in 30 degree increments. So I'll just right click on the first duplicated shape and then choose Size and Position. And in this right side panel, under rotation, I'll change this to 30 degrees. Then I'll click on the next one, and I'll change the rotation to 60 degrees. And I'll do the same for the rest. Now I'll select all these shapes again, like so. And in the Format tab, under Align, I'll choose Align Selected Objects. And then once again under Align, I'll choose Center, and then Align Middle. Now let's go back to the Insert tab, and under Shapes, I'll choose Oval, and I'll draw a circle. Again, under the Format tab, under Shape Outline, I'll make sure that there is no outline. And then I'll place the circle in the middle of these rectangular shapes. Let me just increase the size of the circle. Next, I'll select all these shapes like so, and I'll go back to the Format tab, and under Merge Shapes, I'll choose Union. As you can see, this is all one object now. Next, I'll go back to the Insert tab, and under Shapes, I'll choose Oval again, and I'll draw a circle. I'll duplicate this circle using Ctrl D. I'll just place this one right here, and this one I'll place it over top of the merged object. Next, I'll select both these shapes, and under the Format tab, under Merge Shapes, I'll choose Subtract. Finally, I'll reduce the size of the other circle, and place it in the middle of the gear, like so. Next, I'll select both these shapes. Again, I'll go back to the Format tab, and under Merge Shapes, I'll choose Union. Once again, it's all one object. So this is essentially the finished gear. I'll again use Ctrl D to duplicate this gear twice. So I've got three gears here now.
And finally, we can change the colors of these gears under the Format tab. So I'll click on this gear. And under Format tab, I can go to Shape Fill and choose a color. Let me just increase the transparency using the slider. And I'll do the same for the other two gears. And that's how you create basic gear graphics in PowerPoint 2016. Here's some more gears that I created. And I even converted them into 3D gears, as you can see. And this was all done in PowerPoint. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. Check this video to learn more about animating gears in PowerPoint. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.